And for our third and final panel of candidates, I would ask candidates for Associate Circuit Judge Division One, Anna Morrissey and Tiffany Arnell to come on up. Uh, for our first question, we will begin uh, with Anna Morrissey and proceed and then tra trade back and forth. Uh, question number one, how many jury trials have you presented, conducted, or presided over? Well, I have not done any jury trials. That's because I am a private uh, attorney. Um, I do all kinds of civil litigation. I have done bench trials. Um, I have done a lot of them over the years in this county and other counties. But I, um, the types of cases that I have handled um, over the years, 17 years of practicing law here, I have um, almost always settled those cases. And smart attorneys settle cases because you get to control the outcome for your client. And that to me is the best thing. Um, if you go to a jury trial, you're rolling the dice. Um, you don't know what the outcome is going to be. So for your client, the absolute best thing to do is to settle and have a sure thing. Thank you. As a prosecutor, which is the job I did for 12 years before I took the bench, I actually tried at least two dozen jury trials. Three of those were first degree murder cases. The rest of them were anything from serious assaults to child sex cases to even misdemeanor traffic cases. Um, as a judge, I've presided over three jury trials. I'm not 100% sure. I think two of those were felonies. One of them was a misdemeanor. I probably would have had more, but you all know this last couple of years, we've had this thing called COVID. And so it set us off a little bit with getting jury trials done. I would say that criminal cases are more likely probably to go to jury trial for a variety of reasons. As you all know, if someone's charged with a crime, they're facing prison time most of the time. So if they're adamant that they have a good defense or even adamant that they're not guilty, they're going to take that case to jury trial. And so we could have a whole other conversation that could last a lot longer about all the different reasons why we would have jury trials in criminal cases. But um, I'm the criminal court judge right now. Those are all the cases that come to me are the state criminal cases that are filed by the prosecutor's office. So that experience in the criminal jury trials, I feel is very important. Thank you. And for the second question, uh, we will begin with candidate Yarnell and Judge Yarnell. Uh, state criminal charges such as felonies, misdemeanors, and state traffic offenses make up the majority of the caseload for this judge position in Taney County Courts. What is your experience handling state criminal charges as an attorney and or judge? So kind of similar to what I already said, but I can expand on that. Like I said, I was a prosecutor for 12 years. I actually started as an assistant prosecutor literally the week after I graduated law school. I decided very early on in my um, undergraduate career that that's what I wanted to do was go into criminal law. And so my entire focus of my undergraduate studies as well as internships that I did, and then immediately after law school, I literally started in criminal court the week after that. So I've been in criminal court every single day of my career for 17 years. I also have 17 years of experience as an attorney. Um, so 12 of those was as a prosecutor, like I said, trying cases Cases, also doing preliminary hearings, also doing a variety of other kinds of hearings you can possibly imagine, and then now five and a half um, as your associate circuit judge division one, which again handles the criminal cases. I would I would refer to it as the criminal court associate judge. Thank you. And candidate Morrissey. Well, I have handled all kinds of cases. I've handled felony cases. I've handled misdemeanor cases. Um, I, when I first started practicing law, the majority of what I did was criminal. Um, back in 2005, um, I handled um, all kinds of cases from domestic assault to traffic to DWI. Um, I, my practice tended to go in a different direction, which is what happens when you're in private practice and you have to make a living <laughs> doing the work that comes in the door. So, um, but I have, I do have a, quite a bit of experience with um, state cases. Um, I handle a lot of traffic tickets, um, DWIs, um, driving while revoked, um, folks that don't have insurance, things like that. I've handled those currently and have handled them for years. Um, I also work as the municipal prosecutor uh, for Rockaway Beach and Merriam Woods. And those are municipal cases, but they're very similar to state cases because the, really the, the difference is the range of punishment. Um, if someone gets a DWI in municipal court, 
It's very identical to getting a DWI in state court. Um, the biggest difference is your range of punishment. Um, that person, if they get a conviction, they're still going to get points on their record. They're going to get an administrative alcohol revocation. They're going to have to get SR-22 insurance. All of those things um, are very similar. So I do have experience with criminal court, um, and I, uh, I have experience with state criminal court. Thank you. And for uh, question number three, we will begin with candidate Morrissey. The office of judge is generally understood to be impartial and partisan. Uh, that said, in this process, you are running as a Republican. How would, you, how would your political convictions affect your approach to law if elected? So the code of judicial conduct um, says that judicial candidates cannot make statements on how they would rule from the bench. Um, they can only make statements that they will fairly and impartially uphold the law. And that is what I will do as a judge. Um, I will not have any preconceived notions um, in any way. And I believe that under the rules of judicial conduct, that's about all I can say. Thank you. Uh, the office of judge is generally understood to be impartial and, part and nonpartisan. Uh, that said, you are running as a Republican. How would your political convictions affect your approach to law if, if uh, elected? Thank you. So yes, um, the code of judicial conduct does require us to be fair and impartial and to look at every case um, with just a clear eye, um, open eyes and open ears. I will tell you that personally, I am conservative. I was raised in a Christian conservative home. And so if that means something to you and is important to you, I think it's important for you to know that. Um, whatever you think about that and whether or not that might affect um, how I might look at things, just life in general and holding people accountable, um, which me, if I weren't Christian conservative, how that might be different in how I look at life in general and holding people accountable. I think you can use that um, to determine maybe how you think the answer to that question could be. Um, but yeah, I, I promise to be fair and impartial, but I am a Christian and I am conservative and I have been my whole life. And if that's important to you, I think it's important to you to, to consider that as to how I may do my job. Thank you. Thank you both. That does conclude our uh, final panel of candidates.